In this course, you will learn how to create 2D shaders in Godot 4. This is the first part of a two-part series about the Godot shader language. At the top, we see what the final version of the game looks like. And at the bottom, we see how far along we get in this first part of the series. Let's see what's included in this first part. Here's a sneak peek at some of the shader effects you will learn. Create effects that show damage over time, from a simple flash on hit to more complex techniques involving random noise, color blending and beyond. Discover how to animate textures, modify vertices and apply vector operations to bring alive a variety of natural effects such as fire, scrolling tiles and much more. And these are just a few examples of the shader effects we're going to cover. I want to highlight that the true essence of this course lies in creating a solid foundation of the shader language. No prior experience with shader programming is necessary, though a basic understanding of GDScript will be beneficial, because we won't go over any game logic that is not directly related to shaders. I am Sam, a Godot Engine contributor and a professional software developer with years of experience creating both 2D and 3D games using the Godot engine. Although writing shaders may seem daunting at first, I believe that everyone can learn how to do it. That being said, my journey from beginner to where I am now didn't come easy. Especially the lack on shader related resources made it quite a struggle from time to time. But luckily for you, this course will take away that pain by covering all the aspects that you need to know for writing your own shaders. If you feel something is missing, please reach out. I'm committed to constantly update and improve the course, assuring high quality content which is up to date with the latest release of Godot 4. Do you want to be able to create breathtaking visual effects for your games? Then I'm happy to welcome you to the course. See you soon.